Vaughn and greetings everyone. Tonight, I have the distinct honor and privilege of introducing the New York State Young Dem 2020 Alum of the Year, my sister from another mother, Miss Stephanie Hausner. Before I go on to list some of Stephanie's achievements, I want to briefly and publicly acknowledge that years ago, it was Steph who encouraged me to join the local Democratic Committee which in turn led me to getting involved with uh, the Rockland County uh, Democratic Party. So needless to say, it's all coming full circle this evening. Now, many of us know Steph for being a strong advocate for Jewish issues wherever she goes. One of the ways in which she fulfills her passion for this cause is through her current position as interim director of the Israel Action Network which is a strategic initiative uh, created to educate and mobilize the North American Jewish community uh, to change the conversation about Israel and to achieve peace and security for two states and for two people. Additionally, anyone who's ever attended a YDA convention, at some point I've seen Stephanie uh, spending hours uh, at the bylaws committee meetings to ensure the inclusion of the Jewish voice in the decision-making process. But very often, Stephanie has also used her platform to advocate for human rights issues as a staunch ally to the Black community through her participation in the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, as a bridge builder, she has continually addressed issues that affect people of color in this country and has worked with various organizations to help identify solutions for the betterment of the Black community. For instance, Stephanie sits on the board of SOAR Mentorship Program, an organization which she helps secure resources to empower young people, young men and women of color to excel in life through mentoring and community support. But Stephanie is also a pioneer with an extensive resume to prove it. Back in 2009, she was the youngest female elected in office in New York. Uh, at the age of 25, she joined the Clarkstown Town Board and served as the councilwoman for two terms. Additionally, as the YDA female representative to the DNC, it was Stephanie who helped pave the way for the youth in the organization by advocating for the inclusion of young people as delegates to the DNC during the national conventions. Ladies and gentlemen, and my non-binary friends, Let's give a warm welcome to a proud Democrat who never backs down from a good fight, the remarkable Stephanie Hausner, our 2020 Alumni of the Year. Well, thank you, Adal, who I, I also refer to as my, my other brother. Um, I have a lot of them, but Adal is included in that. Um, it's nice to see so many friends on this call and to be honored alongside such incredible leaders. Um, it's great to see our state party chair, Jay Jacobs, who I've known for a very long time, uh, and Suzanne Berger, the new Westchester County uh, Democratic chair, we've also known for a long time, um, and my local Rockland uh, young Democrats, Megan, Nadal, uh, David, and Dustin, of course, um, and my family and friends. In 2004, when I attended my first Young Democrats local program in Baltimore, where I was going to college, I had no idea that this organization would have such a profound impact on my life. In 2005, I started getting more involved nationally through the Women's Caucus and helped start the National Jewish Caucus. And it was also that year that I attended my first national Young Democrats meeting in Arizona, where I met Michael Gilberg, a trajectory that, uh, <laughs> I think many people on this call would know kind of uh, set both of our Young Democrats careers in motion. Um, and he encouraged me to get involved in the New York Young Democrats uh, after I graduated college. And so in, when I finished college, I immediately joined the New York Young Dems board as downstate vice president. We reinvigorated the Rockland chapter, built new chapters across the state and built really strong partnerships with the state party beginning in the 2008 election season. We brought karaoke to state party conventions, some of you might remember, and worked hard to gain the respect and support of party chairs across the state. In New York, I had the opportunity to help several friends during their presidency, Matt Silverstein, Mike Corbett, 
And on the national level, I have spent five years as a YDA national officer, three representing the Young Democrats on the Democratic National Committee, a term as credentials chair, uh, vice chair of the DNC Youth Council, and I've served, I think, in every single Young Democrats of America convention role. As I look back on uh, all of this time in the Young Democrats, um, the thing I'm most proud about is that in 2012, we pushed the DNC to adopt affirmative action goals for the first time, forcing state delegations to have representation under 36 and to make that a part of that affirmative action plan. Under Charlie King's uh, leadership, I worked with the state party to help draft their affirmative action goals to re ensure representation based on the historic youth vote numbers in 2008 when President Barack Obama was elected. I was excited to see and help ensure dozens of young Democrats serving as delegates and alternates in 2012. I think that might be the first time I met Lauren uh, and I have like a very uh, vivid picture of us at, uh, at that event. And I love that we're twinning tonight. Um, and these youth girls are now uh, live on and are part of regular goals of our state parties. But perhaps the biggest thing Young Democrats has done for me is provide amazing friends from all over the country, a few on the call tonight. And when I first ran for councilwoman in Clarkstown, Young Dems from across the country donated to my campaign, came to knock on doors and even ran my campaign. And I was in the only Democrat on our town council for a few years. It was the Rockland Young Democrats and Macon's on this call and Adal and Jesse who literally came every meeting to make sure that I had moral support and then took me out for drinks and nachos after. <laughs> and during this quarantine time, uh, it's been amazing reconnecting with so many Young Democrats friends from across the country and from all the, from the past. It's been a great 2020 support system. And when we first started in Young Dems, or when I first started, we were just seeing increases in youth voting. And now over the last very long time, 14 years or so, we've seen that we now, we called it a youth voter revolution. Now it's just, it's normal, right? Young people vote. We knew older generations were writing us off. They said, we don't vote. We used peer to peer techniques. We would register people in bars. Still, I think maybe we're doing that. Um, and we know that the next few weeks before the general election are going to be crazy, and we have no idea what's in store. But we do know that peer-to-peer -peer and direct action works. I know today we made calls um, into Pennsylvania, but it's also about making sure that everyone you know has a plan to vote, and not just the people on this call. Like We all know we're going to vote. But like calling your high school friends, your college friends, your church friends, your synagogue friends, making sure that they have a plan to vote and that they know that their early vote location may not be the same as their regular vote location, as we heard a little bit before. Um, it's been amazing over the last few weeks how many people have reached out to me about voting, people that I've never, I haven't heard from about voting in the past, which is an exciting time. But we need to continue this momentum over the next few weeks. And we need Joe Biden and Kamala Harris in office. We need their leadership, we need their empathy, we need their patriotism. We have an opportunity to elect young Democrats up and down the ballot. I'm so excited to be honored with my future Congressman Mondaire Jones. And I'm also excited that my future state Senator and very close friend, Elijah Reichland Melnick is also on the call. And I just want to, before closing, uh, thank all the first responders, medical professionals, government officials, supermarket workers, teachers, mailmen, everyone who's really kept our country going kept all of us going over the last um, several months uh, during the COVID crisis. Thank you, New York State Young Dems. <laughs>